Mr. Harwani, you won the TV channel, you made two movies, and you are actively involved in the Sindhi culture. So, tell us about the idea of having a Sindhi film industry. Well, it's a good idea. Sindhi film, I heard, I saw a few Sindhi films, and uh, the most best Sindhi film I ever seen was Abana. It was well made and touching to the heart and people liked it. After that, I haven't seen any good movie, except my own movie, which is Pyar Kare Des. I'm sorry to say, but that's a fact. I saw many movies like Pare Vare and uh, I, see, I saw all the Sindhi films, but they lack, some of them lack something, some of them lack something. But the best movie after Abana was my movie, which was Pyar Kare Des. I have a business, electronic business. I'm an electronic engineer myself. And uh, one or other way, I came in contact with Mr. Bhatia, who has a BGIL company in Delhi and Bombay. And they contacted me to have a partnership agreement with them to digitize 35 millimeter films to digital. It was very, very old story, old days. So I came to see him. Uh, I visited my office in uh, Lokanwala. And uh, then I saw one poster outside one room, outside the room. It was about, uh, I don't know the name of the film, but it was directed by Kamal Lathani. And Mr. Kamal Lathani, I didn't know him before. He came out of the room and just tried to meet me. And okay. say, Hello, Mr. Arwan, come to my room. So I went to his room and then he introduced himself to me as a producer and uh, he showed me the histories of the film. So, I told him, okay, come and meet me. That's how I met him. But before that, I was in Dubai. And uh, I was invited by Vashi Shorov to join the Sindhi program. And it was, in fact, the program was organized by Asha Chan, some Pakistani artist and, uh, and so And then I came in touch with Asha Chan. I, I announced on the stage that uh, I want to make a good movie, Sindhi movie, if I get a good connection and good people to join with me. That's it. It was the end of it. Then all of a sudden I met Kamal Lathani and uh, Asha Chand, I met her many times. She used to call me, Dubai mein to mujhe phone karti thi, so I always fly to Dubai and see his programs and meet uh, Sindhi people and such like that. But how I got interested in Sindhi culture, it was my brother, my younger brother. He gave me a one video, VHS cassette. It's about 50 years ago, where I saw some Sindhi, it was Sindhi program, but I don't know if it was in Bombay or things like that. It was Sindhi program, which inspired me. It was well-made program on VHS, I saw it. And uh, then I say, we should try to do something to promote Sindhi life. That's how I got inspired in it. And uh, when I met this uh, Kamal Nathani and Asha Chan, I got a good team, so I said, go ahead, make the movie. So what do you think? Should we have a dedicated Sindhi channel? Uh, yes, why not? But uh, if, if I, as far as I remember, I've been interviewed by Mr. Sushil Gajwani in his uh, Sindhi Doordarshan program, I don't know what you call it. And Asha Chan also interviewed me two, three times on Sindhi channel. But I don't call them Sindhi channel. They have a slot of 30 minutes by DD, I don't know what they call it, DD Doodrashan or DD here and there. But we don't have a dedicated Sindhi channel. And we are limited. We have to follow, we have to find a sponsor to sponsor it. Why? We are paying tax to the country. In fact, it's our right to have our Sindhi channel. If every Sindhi stop paying income tax to the government here, where they'll go? They have to come to us, they have to beg to us. So we are poor in organization, we are poor in approaching the authorities, and we are not strong enough. We should have a strong voice to have our Sindhi channel. We should say straight away, no Sindhi channel, no taxes to be paid by the Sindhis in India. That's it, that's it. We should give a warning to the government of India. No Sindhi channel, no in Sindhi will pay tax to the government of India because it's Sindhi channel is run, every channel is run by those that are run by taxpayers' money. We pay tax to the government of India. So why we are deprived of a right? But nobody is there to 
take such a step. I talked with Mr. Ram Jetmalani. I didn't get a positive answer. I talked with Dasha Chand. Uh, their thinking is different. Or my thinking is different. We have our right. We pay tax to the Indian state, Indian government. We have a right to have our own TV channel, our own voice in our own language. They're not going to do any, any uh, they're not favoring us. It's our right, our money. They have to use our money we pay as a tax to use it back in our, to, to in Sindhi TV channel. Now, let us say, uh, I get argument from people who don't have, I talked with Asha Chand and I have seen some interviews of Ram Jetmalani's son, I don't, know, I don't know what his name, he said he approached government of India and president and I don't know if they approached here and there. What answer they get, they say they don't have viewership, bullshit. Viewership can be created by your, your, your program. You can't have viewership without program, without TV channels. So it's a bullshit they're talking, you don't have viewership, why should we give you the channel, or you have to uh, get your sponsor, why? Why should we beg to the people, please sponsor our program, we should be sponsored by government of India funds. Why Mr. Gajwani says I have to find a sponsor to, to make your program? Why Asha Chand has to go to sponsor and make the TV program? 30 minutes program, 25 minutes program, then there are some sponsor here and there. And why government of India, why is asking Durdashan, why is asking we have to sponsor it? Please listen to it. It's our money. We pay tax to state. And it's our right to have our, our cultural uh, saying, if we convey our message to the Sindhis. Now people say we don't trust in this state. It's also wrong. In fact, it's advantage. We are all over India, all over the world. It's an, in fact, it's an advantage that Sindhis are spread all over the world. Why should we confine to the state? So we shouldn't ask for a state. That's not possible. That's not feasible. Okay, there's a Sindh in Pakistan. That's okay, another thing. But why should we ask for Sindhi state? Well, we should. We are spread all over India. We are prospering everywhere. So why should we ask for a state? But we should have our own identity, our our own newspaper. I remember I have seen uh, Hindwasi Akbar and uh, some few years ago, my parents, my grand, uh, my parents and my uh, uh, uncle used to read. But uh, now I don't think they exist anymore. So. Um. See, actually, there are many views about it. Like you rightly pointed out, yeah. that we don't have viewership. Yeah. It's like a chicken and egg problem. Yeah, yeah. Whether what came first, whether it was the chicken or the egg. Yeah. So the viewers will come if there is a program, and the program will come if there are viewers. Mm -hmm. So we are stuck in that loop forever. Mm -hmm. But do you think having a dedicated uh, Sindhi platform or a Sindhi channel mm -hmm. will actually unify Sindhis all across the world? Like you rightly pointed out, they have all been yes. scattered. Not a question of unifying, just spreading our voice. You cannot unite all Sindhis all over the world. But they will approach it to common platform, they can watch the program. Program will be such rich in content and quality so that everybody will watch it. Nowadays they say, oh, we don't have good con uh, good program, that's such our view, uh, our youngster doesn't watch it. But we have to make the program, we have to make the software. But what about understanding the language? And you know, like um, the language itself has faded away uh, over the generations. That's that's our problem. That's our we did ourselves. I remember when I was a child, I was uh, admitted to the school in Ajmer, Sindhi school. And then when I moved to Bombay, I joined first school was Mithi Bai College. The teachers were so bad, they couldn't teach properly Sindhi language. And you'll be surprised, I left school after three days. I came all the way from Jodhpur to join, study in Bombay. And the teacher was so bad in Sindhi language. So I left the, uh, left Bombay because I thought this is not my place. So I gone back to Jodhpur and studied there. So you see, you have to have good teachers, good colleges, good schools, and they should be educated to teach the proper way. So, so do you think people from the community should come forward and make more content which are targeted towards the Sindhi audience? Or right, right. Not Sindhi audience, we should be international. Okay, so you are suggesting that whatever content we make should be in other languages also besides yes. Sindhi? Or yes, yes, yes. Uh, Sindhi, you see, why should we confine to only Sindhi language? We should be international. 
if in Sindhi we need to have uh, dubbing in Hindi, we do that, or we should have subtitle in Hindi, we do that, in English, whatever it is, like news. Uh, there's no Sindhi news channel. Okay, so if you have a news channel, I can give my example. I have been running TV channel in Denmark for last 20 years. Single-handed, single person, without any support from anybody, 20 years to run a TV channel, one person, one man show, and uh, news in five languages, Danish, Hindi, Punjabi, Urdu, and uh, it was, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, I used to give news in five, six languages without any support from anybody. So if I can do it all alone, why can't we community as a community do it? Okay, now I got one more idea. Suppose we don't get a channel from government of India. Forget it. Why should you go to government of India? Why we beg to them? We sh there is satellite now. There is a YouTube now. I have a plan. Without money, you can run a Sindhi TV channel worldwide. Without money. Now you say, now you laugh at me. I talk to Asha Khan also, I talk to many people. And they laugh at me, they say I'm a stupid, I'm a stupid idiot. I'm not. When I say something, I mean it. We can run the TV channel 24 hours, daily new program, no repetition, without any money. But how will people create content without being paid? Why, what is their motivation to create content if they are not going to be paid for that content? Listen, when you say you have, to learn, learn, you have to love your language, then you don't have to think for payments. You have to put your own money in your pocket, from your pocket, and run it. Life. I can give you an example how we could run the Sindhi channel 24 hours with new content every day without, with this minimum cost, without any cost, I could say. Right. Okay, we got some organizations all over, in, all over the world, Sindhi organizations. Sindhis are all over the world. We should appoint or try to have people in every city, try to form a local body with Sindhis, try to collect the news. You see, you can use iPhone now. You don't need big cameras and stuff like that. Everybody has an iPhone. You have to have just, you have to have motivation how to do that. So if we have organization all over the world, all over India, have some centers where the people have volunteers, 10, 20 volunteers. They go with the iPhone cameras, make a recording. Cultural programs are done every day, everywhere. Sindhis, sometimes Chetty Chan, sometimes, uh, you know, everywhere the programs are done. So why can't we make an organization of 10, 20 youth? They should go around, make a recording. They do recording for fun also. You see TikTok and all these things, they do recording for fun also. So why don't they use it in the correct way? And there should be central body where it could be edited. And we have footage without any cost. And live footage, I mean, you have current news. Like, aaj Ajmer mein kya ho raha hai, aaj Bombay mein kya ho raha hai. Ab Bombay mein dekho, har mein ne 10-15 to program hote hi hai. Cultural program hote hai, kabhi ye hota hai, kabhi hota hai. Har city mein hote hai. So it's a lot of footage is there. You don't have to worry for stock footage. If you want to make drama or something like that, you need money for that. But if you are uh, connecting the news or information of the uh, meet information news, then you don't need any footage. You have to have current footage, and that can be available without any cost. Okay, it was nice talking to you, Mr. Arwani. We will get the message across to the youngsters so that they Thank can you. prepare the content. And like you rightly pointed out, that it's not very difficult or not very expensive to set up a YouTube channel which can uh, deliver this content. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. I don't say I s YouTube channel. But we could have our own, ch if we get only permission, only licensed telecost, software we can produce ourselves without any cost to the government of India. Or without any, if we get some funds, it's okay, well and good. Then we have big studios, big lightings, four fire lightings, same four fire cameras in every center. We can do that. If there's no funds, we can run with uh, uh, our mobile phones. Every Sindhi has mobile phones, so we have, how many cities are there? I don't know, but there are so, it means we have so many cameras. Yeah. Every city has one camera. So we got so many cameras, we have so much material. Only we have to put them together in the proper way.